message is prophetic because what I had in mind to preach was not what I'm preaching now and then he's waking up and the Lord said the reproach is over he said tell my people the reproach is over that was not what I intended to preach initially and then when a word comes prophetical, that means the hope is said to make it to manifest in your life. And something drastic, something mighty, something tangible will happen in your life after tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord shout the loudest, Amen. Let the Lord shout the loudest, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want to appreciate God for 2023. We've seen the faithfulness of God as a ministry, as a people. Can we celebrate Jesus? We also want to celebrate our own Pastor Johnson. He has been there to celebrate him. This evening, I also want us to celebrate the instrumentalists. The people that come and set this place, put it in order. Can you celebrate it? Hallelujah. Can you celebrate the workers of this ministry? Can you please celebrate it? We've seen people. At times we have, I need to shout, I need to give instruction. But yet you see people that are ready to learn. Celebrate them. And above all, celebrate yourself. Because we will be here if you don't come. Hallelujah. 
so that means you mean a lot to us and you mean a lot to god celebrate yourself once one more time hallelujah 2023 came with many challenges not just for ministry not just for men of god not just for churches even for the nation in fact people thought the nation would collapse after election all manner of things but do you know that it is the prayer of the saints that kept this nation there are countries where so this kind of thing will happen it has not happened in Nigeria yet there was a coup the countries even this kind of thing will happen and it will lead to their non-existence but the God kept our nation because of the prayer not, not because of the bragging of any man not because of military but because of the prayers of the saints so God showed himself mighty even on our nation. And then he showed himself mighty upon our lives as ministry. And then tonight is is ending the year with us by giving us a prophetic word. He said the reproach is over. And then I was meditating on that. I was I was like, where, where will I will start the teaching from? When the thing just came. I have written it, kept it, praying about it, and then this morning you just brought this one. And then, when I was in the study, the light flowed. And then let's open our Bible. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, please. I am the Jesus, Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Just take it from verse 9. There about. A guy too from verse 9. And the Bible says, The glory of the latter house shall be greater than, 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 than of the former. Fear the Lord of hosts. And in, his, and in this place will I give peace. Fear the Lord of hosts. The glory of the latter house shall be greater and perform say the Lord of us and I will give peace in this place say the Lord of us the Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus beloved I want you to know that it is our year 2023 came as our year of abundant glory and then we have been, by the mercy of God, we have been seeing the glory right from the beginning of this year down to this moment. And God is this thing that the glory we have seen, the glory of the latter, that means the glory of now, is greater than what we have seen before. And that the, the, the one major thing that antagonizes the glory 
One major thing that fights the greedy is what is called reproach. When a man is a man that sees reproach, that man can never depict the glory of God. And tonight the Lord says, the reproach is over. A stitching on the reproach is over. So one major thing that antagonizes the glory, one major thing that fights the glory, one major thing that sabotages the glory, is what is called reproach. Hear me? When a man's life is under reproach, no matter what a man does, that man's life can never see a meaning in life. Glory means stardom. Glory means an aura of shining. Glory means an aura, an atmosphere where you see where a man's star shines. That the opposite of glory is what is called reproach. When a man is under reproach, it will be not that that man is not good, not that that man perhaps is not educated, not that that man perhaps is not having enough in his house. But there's a reproach, there's something that is always fighting. The question is, what is a reproach? A reproach represents an embargo or a siege in the life of a man. It represents an embargo or a siege in the life of a man. Many years ago, I, I, I was counseling a medical student. A young guy that came to me, he was very intelligent, very vibrant. He came to the office, he says, sir, he was crying. I said, what was the problem? Because he wrote a course and it was terrible. The guy says, sir, not that I don't read. He said, I will read. I even read all over, all through the night. But when I went to the exam hall, I saw that I was just blank. I could not write anything. <laughs> he said, this is not the first time this thing is happening to me. And it happens when the exam is very, very crucial. But as in case it will not happen. But when it comes to exams, I will read. And when I enter the exam hall, I go back. And then we lead through prayers we made. And then instructions were given to him. That not that this one is not a student that is hard working. Hear me. Reproach can make your hard work to be no work. Somebody can be hard working but is not seeing anything. But there's somebody that is putting little effort and is seeing results. The difference is glory. The glory will make a little work to be to become very, very massive. While reproach will make a massive effort to become very, very useless. And that is why that reproach is coming to an end tonight. In the name of Jesus. Tell me, what is that thing that is serving people? You come outside, people see you as a different person. But there's something in you that you know that you are dying. There's something in you that you cannot share with any man. There's something in you that you feel ashamed about. That thing will die tonight. In the name of Jesus. It could be around your health. It could be around your finance. It could be around your family. It could be around your business. But that thing is dying tonight. You believe that shout the loudest. Amen. You believe that shout the loudest. Amen. Hear me. The mantle, as I always say, is to undo battles. The mantle is to tackle battles. And then provided the mantle is available, everything that looks like a battle around your life will be catching fire tonight. 
in the name of Jesus. Everything that looks like a battle of reproach around your destiny will be catching fire tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The reproach is over. That means 2023 will not, that thing will not follow you to the to end of 2023. That means that thing is coming to an end tonight, not tomorrow, tonight. That altar that is reproaching your life. That altar that is reproaching your family. That altar that wants to reproach your children. That altar that wants to reproach anything around this land, around this territory. That altar is being scratching fire tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus is doing something in our lives Thank you, Jesus. There's nothing that is above or is bigger or is still mightier than the power of God. The power of God is the answer. The power of God is the antidote to every every kind of reproach. It can be a financial reproach. It can be a career reproach. It can be an academic reproach. It can be a reproach that has to do with health, health challenge and all. But it's catching fire in the name of Jesus. As in the hospital was it Tuesday, we are doing the research in the that's the, the the trauma center in research on glaucoma and then a patient came and this patient just said all of a sudden she was he was walking on the road and then a wild bee this wild bee that seen as please that used to pack sand just entered his eyes one of his eyes and then that was how, from that day, that man began to have eye problems to the extent that the eyes went blind. Those, those did stand their thing. They did operation, they did surgery, they gave him all manner of, all manner, all manner of eye drops. They were testing this. I imagine was saying the story. I said, I had to coordinate myself. I said, this thing don't I said, this thing, uh, it's not even medical. But I just I just comport myself because the doctor the ophthalmologist was already attending to him. But that was a devil that came to reproach the health, the eyes of this man. You will not know the power of the eyes you have of the something enters your eyes. <laughs> that uh, I was I was just looking all manner of eye issues. Then I I, I got to even value my eyes more. A wild wind. What? 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 What did enter other people? And, and they just they said, "Pray for me, pray for me." They prayed, and it's gone. This one entered his eyes, and he went blind. Devil is wicked. Wicked devil. The only form of reproach around our lives, around our destiny, around our health, around our career, around our finances, around our business, is catching fire tonight. In the name of Jesus, you believe that shout the loudest, amen. You believe that shout the loudest, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And the question is, what are the keys to arresting reproaches in life? What are the keys to arresting reproaches in life? The key number one is called the key of prayers. There's nothing that cannot be altered. There's no negative altar that cannot be altered in the altar of prayers. There's no negative altar that cannot be changed. There's no negative orchestration, negative declaration, negative engagement of the devil and the power of the occult that cannot be changed in the altar of prayers. And I 
double day. That as we pray under this corporate anointing tonight, something will break in your life. Any form of reproach around your life, around your destiny, will break by fire in the name of Jesus. You believe that shout the loudest, Amen. why a man should never allow as a child of god we are in the festive period they never allow festivity to affect your intimacy with god never allow in, uh, festivity to carry away your intimacy with god there's no there's something wrong with celebrating Yes. Let that celebration not take your communication with Yeshua. You see the hand of God. Keys to arresting the reproach in life is called the key of goodwill. The key of goodwill. The key of wishing other people well. Because I have noticed in my small life that you can never wish people evil and you will not see evil in your life. And you can never wish people good and you will not see good in your life. So the easiest way to go is to wish people well. Wish people good no matter how they hurt you, no matter how they cause you pains. It's called the key of good will. Hallelujah. Never wish anybody bad. Make him able to see next day. Make him able to see next day. Never. But the more you wish people well is a seed. The more you wish people well is a seed to your destiny. Is a seed your career is a seed for what you do. Of good wish. The key of good wish. Hallelujah. Any man, God, never wish anybody evil. It's wishing you disaster. You see disaster happening to you. And the person that is wishing you destruction will see destruction happening to her. Because it is a seed that occurs in cycles. And then every bad wishes, every bad declaration. That have been said concerning your life and destiny will never come to pass in the name of Jesus. Every declaration of disaster and destruction, of satanic manipulation of frustration, will never come to pass in your life. We believe that shall the loudest in there. It's called the key of good wish. The key. Of good wish. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The key of good wish. Then the final key before we pray. Please to arrest your reproaches in life. It's called the key of purity. The key of purity. We are in the festive period. Festivity is not a license for immorality. Festivity is not a license for nonsense. So as a child of God, you should make up your mind and say, Lord, I will not allow this festivity to push me away from you. And the man of God was preaching last week. He said, people will get their fire 
from January, they will sustain it down to December. And then on 25th, they will lose that fire. And then January begins, they will start crying again. What a life. And they will start shouting and making demands for that same fire that has been lost. So don't allow anything to make you lose your favor for God. Don't allow anything to make you lose your passion for God. I begin to appreciate this God. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship. Father, we worship. Father, we worship. La cosa tocca a fronte del soffello che c'è in fronte a casa. Zatella fronte del soffello la fronte del soffello. Rante soprande sa catella mante, libre cruzia, catede. Open your mouth and speak unto God. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, 
every load upon my life, every load upon my destiny, every load upon my family, as I begin to pray, oh Lord, let that load be uploaded by fire, let it be uploaded by fire, let it be uploaded by fire, can you open your mouth and begin to speak up the door, can you open your mouth and begin to speak up the door, Of destruction, 
I said that but this caught fire right now. The thought of set back on your father's house. The thought of unfortunate limitation on your father's house. La cosa poco tata tata ya gata gana gana ya sh. Shika bali na kali na mana kala na masu palate. I said that but this is fire tonight. Somebody hold on fire. Somebody hold on fire. Every part not of God upon this land, resisting the people of God, resisting the destiny of men, that part catches fire right now. We begin to shout and loud and scream. As 2023 is coming to an end, that load has come to an end. As 2023 is coming to an end. That embargo, that siege has come to an end. We believe that shall the Lord is in it. We believe that shall the Lord is in it. So we pray the King of Kings for the Lord of Lords. So we pray the King of Kings for the Lord of Lords. Father, we thank you.